Hello, this is Joyce Latimer from Virginia Tech with another video sponsored by Fine Americas and the eGro team. And today we're going to be talking about another tank mix, and that's Configure plus Dayside. Now, earlier this year we did a written blog on combining Piccolo and Configure so that we could apply those in the liner stage and get early growth control as well as get early branching. So let's talk about some possible uses of Configure plus Dayside. What I'm going to tell you is about an experiment we did using two crops, Agastache and Gara, and we started with unrooted cuttings, and we applied our PGRs as a foliar spray to stage three rooted cuttings. That meant that the roots were visible on all sides of the plug, but the plug was not fully rooted. So essentially we applied the treatments just after the plants came off of mist. We had treatments, of course, with untreated control. We used Configure alone and Dayside alone. Notice this is a lower rate than we typically use of each of those. Then we did a tank mix of 500 parts per million Configure plus 2,500 parts per million of Dayside. We were looking for synergy between the Dayside and the Configure. So we wanted to see if there was a difference in the response of Configure plus the Dayside, the whole formulation, or if the carrier was responsible. So Fine Americas was willing to provide us with their proprietary carrier as one of our treatments. So let's look at Agastache Tutti Frutti. This is at three weeks after treatment, which is about five, five and a half weeks after sticking the unrooted cuttings. You can see that the Configure, the Dayside, essentially all of our treatments except the Dayside carrier alone gave us a significant amount of height control. These plants were not pinched in our production process. So we got height control with all of our treatments except the Dayside carrier. Let's look at the plants a little closer to look at branching. You can see that our configure treatment gave us an improvement in branching, but it was only about a 22% increase. Dayside, on the other hand, actually decreased our number of branches by about 35%. But when we combined the two of those, we got an increase in the number of branches by about 60%. So the combination of Configure and Dayside actually gave us a significant increase in the number of branches. The Configure plus the Carrier, the Dayside Carrier, gave us no improvement in branching, and the Dayside Carrier alone gave us no improvement in branching. So if we look at our finished plants at eight weeks after treatment, you can see we really needed some additional height control. We only applied our treatment, our Dayside and Configure, one time in the liner stage. But you can see that even at eight weeks after treatment, the Configure treatment alone gave us an increase of about 35% in the number of branches. Dayside, no effect on branching. Our Configure plus Dayside gave us about a 35% increase in the branching, about the same as our Configure treatment. The Configure plus the carrier, the Dayside carrier, and the Dayside carrier alone had no effect on the branching. Flower stalk height was also reduced by the Configure treatments or the Dayside treatments. So that was the only growth response we still had at eight weeks after treatment. The other thing that we found was that the Configure, whether it was Configure alone or Configure plus Dayside, did delay flower opening by about four to six days. So in summary, our tank mix of Configure plus Dayside gave us the greatest increase in the number of leaders or branches, both in the liner stage and in the finished plants, while controlling some of our plant height, more so in the liner stage. We had no decrease in shoot dry weight with this tank mix at either the liner stage or in the finished plant stage. When we look at the effect of the carrier, try to sort that Dayside versus the carrier, we see that the Configure plus Dayside carrier nor the carrier alone increased branching in either the liners or the finished plants. All of the Configure treatments, whether they're alone or in combination, reduce liner height as well as flower stalk height of the finished plants, but again, delayed flowering up to six days. 
So let's look at gar whirling butterflies. Again, this is three weeks after treatment, about five weeks after sticking. And you can see that all of our treatments, Dazide or Configure, did give us some reduction to a significant reduction in plant height at the finished liner stage. However, only the Configure treatments gave us an increase in the number of leaders or the number of branches. Our Configure alone gave us a 36% increase in branches, whereas Dazide, as we saw with the Agastache, decreased the branching, 29% decrease in branching. The combination of the two, however, only gave us a 14% increase in the branching. So we didn't see what we might have thought was synergy between the two products. As we saw with the Agastache, we actually just saw a slight increase in the number of uh, branches. However, we also saw that same increase, a 14% increase in branching with the Configure plus the Dayside Carrier. But we also saw that the Dayside Carrier itself decreased branching again by about 29%. So looking at the finished plants at eight weeks after treatment, our Configure treated plant is the largest plant, a little bit taller, and about a 43% increase in the number of branches. Our Dayside treatment is both smaller and has fewer branches, 31% fewer branches than our control. The Dayside Plus Configure is basically zeroed out, no increase in branching, same as control, and about the same height. The Configure Plus Carrier, again, gave us the greatest increase in number of branches with a significant amount of height control. We actually have a 72% increase in the branches with the Configure plus the Carrier alone, whereas the Dayside Carrier by itself decreased height but had no effect on branching. So in summary for GARA, for the liners, all the Configure treatments increase the number of leaders, but only Configure alone significantly increase the number of branches on those finished liners. The Dayside treatment or the Dayside carrier alone reduced the branching of liners. And for the finished plants, all of the Configure treatments tended to increase branching, but only the Configure plus the Dayside carrier gave us a statistically significant increase in the number of branches. And again, as with Agastache, the Configure, any of the treatments containing Configure, delayed flower opening by up to 12 days. Now, we did have some pretty precocious flowering among those controls, so, but consider this uh, some delay in flowering. What I would recommend for GARA, and we've come to this rec conclusion with a lot of our Configure applications, is that there should be a second application made. After transplant, typically make sure it's at least 14 days after a previous application. So should you be using a Configure and Dayside tank mix? Well, although there seems to be a significant interaction between the two PGRs, especially with Agastache, I wouldn't call it a synergistic relationship. So it may be a beneficial combination for some of your crops, and I hate to keep saying this, but you're just going to have to run some of your own trials. Certainly, if you are making applications of Dayside and of Configure, these results show, as we saw with Piccolo and Configure, that there are no negative consequences of adding the two in a tank mix. So you may consider that. If you are applying this tank mix to liners, wait until the, the liners are fully rooted. Just plan to make a second or additional follow-up applications of Configure and or Dayside, just depending on crop growth, just so you get the best product. So thanks again for listening to our video, listening to our research results on combining Configure and Dayside. Thanks again to Fine Americas and to the eGrow team for promoting these videos. Have a great day.